Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another loot guide, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one's a little different, as you might imagine. Um, usually I start these videos off on the coast as a fresh spawn, walking you through, uh, you know, how to loot your spawn town and some general next steps to take, uh, you know, to help you get started and kick off your, your daisy adventure, I guess. But in this video, I'm going to try and take this a step further and show you how to loot some military areas. Uh, I'm using a character I have on official Daisy. I am playing on an official New York server. I'll, you know, put the actual server up on the screen so you can see. Uh, you know, if you don't believe me, I, not like you can double check that I was actually on there, but I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is my character. I have, uh, I played this, I played on official the first day of 1.23, uh, you know, official patch. You might be thinking, oh, he's got a Mosin and he's got a, an M4. This is so scripted, man. But uh, I did live stream this. I'll leave that live stream link down in the description. I earned this loot, man. <laughs> I, uh, I essentially made a play at commence to get the Mosin, then went to Tissy, killed a guy there with the Mosin, who had a full NBC suit, which I don't have anymore because I ditched it. But I went all the way down to Pavlovo, earned myself this M4, and uh, I logged out. Right outside Grishino. So, I thought this would be a good opportunity to loot two very common military areas. I'll probably split it up into two parts, if I even survive, because this is uh, the weekend after the release of 1.23.2 Official DayZ, and we have hit peak player counts for all time for DayZ, which is awesome. I think uh, over 64, 65,000 players concurrent over the weekend which is an all-time high. Ten-year-old game game is apparently dead, though, so... Moving on. Uh, so, I am... Or I'm sorry, I said Grishino. I'm here at Cabanino. So, I'm here in Cabanino. This is about, you know, kind of the center of the map. A little bit uh, northwest-ish. Uh, if you look at the center of the map on Trenaris, you can see Starry, Sobor, uh, and Novia Sobor. And a little bit northwest of that is Cabanino, and then uh, to my right here is the Northwest Airfield, the infamous Northwest Airfield that just recently underwent some changes. And everybody is hyped up for. But one of the military, uh, one of the, I guess, better military areas before you get to there is right next door. Vibor Military Compound. VMC is uh, a lot of people will call it. And I'm going to go, I'm going to show you a couple places that I like to scout it out first. And then we will go down and loot it. I'll show you how to clear all those buildings. Uh, I'll show you my process. The process that I take when uh, I go into military areas like this, especially as a solo. I try to play very cautious because, you know, you want to keep your stuff. You want to win these situations. You want to be smart. But at the same time, sometimes you need to go down into military areas for, you know, uh, in my case, I really could use some 556. I have a 60 round mag, which is awesome. That I think I found on a heli crash or one of the guys that I killed. I don't know. You can double check in the stream link that I have below because this is not scripted. I promise. <laughs> I know I get a lot of people saying, oh, this is scripted. You have too much stuff, too good stuff. I've never had that in my life. But, uh, you know, I earned this shit. Trust me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I could use some 5.56, uh, I'm good on mows and ammo. I don't know. So, let's say our objective is to get 5.56, and that's what we're gonna go down there looking for. So, I like to take... So, if you take the road that goes through Cabanino, and would pass on over to Vibor, there's a nice little set of stone walls up here with some bush coverage. There's some foliage. A lot of people will go from Starry, past Cab, and go sit on the tree line that I am looking at to my left will kind of go over there. Very predictable. I mean, some decent places to scout from. This is a little bit close to the airfield, but this this tree line is a little less traveled and has some pretty good visual uh, on the military base itself. You know, you can't really see into it super well, but you can actually see enough. Like, this is a very uh, common entry and exit way. 
You know, there's a little stream that runs there. It's actually some shots, you know, down on the other side. That could be interesting. I can make this situation very interesting. Um, but a lot of people take this stream from this road sometimes down to VMC, or they'll, you know, come in from the opposite side, uh, loot all the way through, and then they'll come out and take this stream up to the road, because then they cross over, because behind me is Northwest Airfield. So this is a good spot to come and, uh, like, you know, see if you can spot some zombie movement, maybe. Uh, you can see into a couple of the barracks. You can see the, the, the double green door uh, barrack with all the beds. There's a skinny barrack there. You can see the L shape a little bit. You know, it's not the perfect, it's not perfect dies by any means, but, you know, you can see pretty well. Uh, and especially you can see this really common entry and exit way. So I usually like to come up here, see if I can spot zombie aggro. Uh, it is kind of foggy right now, so visibility is a little down. But this is the infamous VMC Sniper Hill. I call it that because lots of people like to sit up there and snipe down into the military. Uh, especially back in the .62 days, but... It's a little harder, uh, the way that they terrain the place and put trees all over. It's a little harder to see in the military now, but... People still like to go up there and get a get an overview overview anyway, uh, but because of that, you know that's such a common place. That's the first place that I look when I'm scouting, uh, or you know, fearsome of shots while I'm in the military. That's why I don't like to go there myself. I feel like it's a little too predictable. Same with that road because everyone goes Novi Starry, maybe goes Cab, sometimes skips, goes right to VMC. Uh, you know. If that's the case, you usually go down this little pathway because there's some tree coverage. I like to check it out. You know, if I can see anybody moving. There's not really zombies that'll spawn there. But uh, if you see anybody moving, you have good eyes from up here. And obviously, you don't have to sit in this specific spot. There's lots of bush coverage and foliage and the, the stone walls up here that you can use to your advantage to hide behind and uh, look into the military with. But, especially because we have shots, I'm going to have to play this extra smart, extra safe. Uh, and this will be pretty, you know, a very live action uh, sequence here. You know, I'm not just playing on a dead server. I'm playing on an official high populated server. Uh, at peak player time. Uh, US, New York official, I forget the exact number. Uh, again, I'll just lay that on the screen so you guys can see that I'm not fibbing. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go in there and get a live action sequence, and hopefully uh, my strategies kind of pay off and I don't look like a doofus. So from this, from this positioning, I do like to creep down and just slowly take peeks back and forth. Slowly push in. I will take that, that stream, stream way down because I'm kind of clearing it on my way. It's, this is also tough because it sounds like there's shots back Novi Starry, you know, to my south. We also had shots, sounded like Sniper Hill, like other side. There can be a heli spawn over there and I'm not sure if I'm not seeing it because of uh, the fog or the render distance or what, but that is a very likely uh, situation or just, you know, two people pushing out. This, this stream does continue go on past the base and wraps around back over to Vibor City, or town, to my right there. Uh, so a lot, you might see a lot of people, you know, utilizing that to get, to have some coverage on the way to Vibor. If they need to loot for some meds, some food before they head to Northwest, whatever it is. A lot of people will take that way, and it could have just been two people converging over there. Um, but nonetheless, we'll take this as cautiously as we can. Uh, something to keep in mind is I'm looting a military area, <laughs> very deep into the map especially. You know, I'm in the heartlands of Trenaris right now, and military looting is always a gigantic risk. Uh, you can't always expect to come out alive. The best you can do is play it safe, play it cautious, especially as a solo player. Uh, my advice is stay, stay low, stay slow. Um, you know, here I'm just trying to make some progress through the trees. But once I get in the base, I stay low. I am crouch walking. I'm staying, you know, low to the ground, keeping myself, uh, you know, as inconspicuous as possible. 
I'm trying not to aggro zombies. I will slow walk to avoid aggroing zombies. Keep out of zombie line of sight. And we, I will stop and listen for other players trying to get an advantage on them. Uh, you know, and make a decision from there. So I'm staying low, and I'm playing slow. Low to the ground, crouch walking, playing it slow, walking slow, crouching, stopping. Uh, not trying to rush through and speedrun all the time. And that usually allows me to uh, at least detect other players before they detect me if I... Uh, with a little bit of luck and a little bit of patience. And, you know, hopefully that can allow you to also go into areas like this and come out alive and with the gear that you're intending to find. Um, but again, like I said, this is a risk. Looting militaries is always a risk. It's a dangerous... Uh, uh, Militaries are always dangerous. Everybody is looking to go to militaries. Everybody wants plate carriers. Everyone wants a better assault rifle or secondary or, you know, long range. Everyone needs a mag. Everyone wants gun cleaning kits. Everyone wants a helmet. Ballistic protection. Everything, you know, everyone is going to eventually end up at a military area. So it's a very highly contested point of interest uh, in the heartlands of the map. And you can't expect people to, one, be friendly, <laughs> and two, you can't expect, uh, you can never expect for people to not just be there. Always assume there's someone there, always play it, like even if you hear shots or if you don't, always play it as if there's someone there and you know they're there. Crouch around, stay low, play slow. So like I said, uh, using all that foliage and bush coverage to uh, go into this uh, little stream that leads right up to the millie. It is pretty low to the ground. It would provide cover if I got shot at uh, from either direction to my south and to the north. You know, there's, it helps, uh, you know, obviously don't want to just sprint through the whole way because there are, there's potential for other players to also be, you know, en entering or exiting the military base via this route. Like I said, it leads if I go behind me, that leads straight to Northwest Airfield. And, you know, it's a popular route. People go from the, the center towns and villages and they come to VMC to get a little bit of gear to help them go loot Northwest Airfield. It's a very common loot route, especially for, you know, players who are getting started with a character. And just be wary. Just be aware. Uh, have a, you know, if you're new to the game... This might take time, but map awareness is key. Uh, knowing where people tend to, you know, bounce from. You know, if you get a Cherno spawn, uh, you go Mogilevka. Mogilevka to Novi Summer Camp. Novi Summer Camp to Novi. Then to Stari. And then to Cabanino. And then to VMC. You know, knowing those routes and the tendencies that players have uh, while traversing the map. And decisions that they might make on where should I go next? What am I going to need next? Uh, that will really help you understand where to watch out from and, uh, you know, help you also plan escape routes if need be. You know, map awareness is a really important thing, especially when looting militaries. Knowing where players might possibly be coming from, what's the natural, natural progression uh, from one place to another. You know, understanding that will help you make decisions in the moment. So we're creeping up on the base. Remember, we did hear shots, so I'm taking it very slow. I'm going to use this tree coverage over here as, uh, you know, I'm going to use that to my advantage. I want to get into this tree line. I want to kind of stay away from the base. I know zombies will spawn along this wall or creep out to the outside of the wall here. So I'm trying to avoid detection because zombie detection can also mean player detection. You know, if they hear zombie aggro and they know it wasn't on them, uh, you know, they're gonna put two and two together and realize, oh shit, there's probably somebody here now. So, watching out for in the base. I'm not seeing a lot of zombies. That could mean nothing, but a lot of the times, I you know, I've been close enough that zombies would have spawned on me. But obviously we heard shots, we know there's people around, they probably looted the base already. And that's probably why we're not seeing too many zombies. Because they're either trapped in a building somewhere, or they were already taken care of by this player or group of players. 
So just slowly creep around. Oh, now we're seeing some zombies inside. That's a good sign. So the shots, I thought, I could be wrong. They were coming from, you know, this direction. A little bit to the right of the hill. I know there's heli spawns over there. Heli crash spawns, and those are highly contested right now since the release of the new patch with the DMR. You know, everyone wants that new weapon. So those are highly, highly contested. And honestly, maybe those shots uh, give me a little bit of breathing room and allow me to go loot the military... No, as fast as I can. Without rushing. You know, that might provide some distraction. And we can maybe uh, get in and get out. So I'm going to come in. We did a little bit of area scouting. I've almost circumnavigated this, the outside of the, the perimeter of this base. Before even thinking about entering. Uh, you know, that's something I do quite often. We see a big group of zombies clumped up there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna crouch walk through here. I'm gonna put this wall to my back. Give myself some cover. Look into the windows of the the camo jail building here. A lot of times when I get into a, a melee area like this, I like to sit and I watch and I listen and I wait. You know, zombies. I can hear some zombies groaning in the distance. They're, they're chill. Uh, but if I were to hear one aggro, you know, I'm in a position where I can go, okay, uh, that aggro is to my left. It's over by the L-shaped building, whatever. And I can make a... I, I can react and use my instincts and awareness of the space's layout to make my next moves, to calculate my next moves. But for now, things seem kind of chill. A lot of players like to ent enter uh, over where that little patrol shack is. That's, like I said, that's uh, coming from Star Air Cab over that very typical tree line people like to snipe from. And they'll walk down that, that dirt road, that dirt path with the hunting stand with the tr tree line that I showed you guys earlier that we looked at. I'm shivering. I have good clothes on. I'm surprised. I guess it's just cold out. Something to do when you're, sh if you're shivering, you can go prone and hold all and just look around, you know, it's good for scouting. You can look around, stay low to the ground, and this will actually cancel the shiver animation. You won't actually shiver. I doubt that's a feature, but you know, until they remove it, utilize it. Because then you're staying as quiet as possible. I don't think zombies will hear shivers unless you're right up against them, but uh, players sure will. So whenever I'm laying low and trying to play it cool, Play it as quiet and stealthy as possible. I utilize this as much as I can. But yeah, players like to come from that direction quite a bit. So that is uh, an area to keep an eye on. Also, they will go onto the sniper hill and then run down to the other side of this wall. It's another little entryway that wraps around to my back here. So, you know, if they were to enter from there, if I knew there was a player up on the hill and I was down here, this might be a good little cubby to sit in. Wait for them to run in, start clearing areas, and you can just pop them when they're not expecting. Um, but, you know, I've sat here for a little bit, for, for a couple, you know, what, a minute, two minutes, maybe three. Um, it seems okay. Seems okay. Doesn't mean it's clear, right? I think maybe we can go and we can uh, start clearing some buildings. So, what I'm going to do now... As I'll get up. Still play it slow. Like, things seem relatively calm, but it doesn't mean every, we're out, you know... We're in the clear, necessarily. Things seem okay. like to keep cover to my back, if I can. Always have cover, or an opportunity to duck into cover. Ooh, that's tough. Alright, so this area is a little bit hot with zombies right now, so what I'm gonna do, instead of looting this barrack here... Especially because I don't have a zombie killer. I don't have like a suppressed pistol or an MK. Apparently not even a knife. I don't know what I'm thinking. I think I accidentally dropped my knife uh, when I left 
the gas zone last last played through. Which is a bummer. So that's another thing we can look out for. So the zombies are all kind of congregated down there. Do a little quick clear move. Seems we got a dropped SKS. Uh, that's indication of player activity. Recently. Oh, zombie aggro on me. Zombie alert on me. I think. Probably had line of sight on me. Quickly duck inside somewhere. Clear that line of sight. Clear the, the pathing. And uh, they won't full aggro and you might be in the clear. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold here. Hopefully the zombie doesn't aggro on me. It'll be okay. But uh, that SKS out on the ground, that doesn't spawn there. So what that should tell you is that uh, a player was recently here, dropped that SKS, or found it in this building, just maybe cleared the ammo out of it and dropped it. Uh, so that's indication of player activity. So that is something that if I didn't hear shots prior, uh, you know, shots outside the melee prior, that would be like an oh shit moment for me. I gotta really be on my toes even more than normal. Okay, so the zombie has lost interest, never got a clear look on me, just probably saw my movement for a brief second. I was quick enough to evade, get inside, uh, and now we're in cover, so we'll be okay. So now, this is one of the tougher buildings to clear. Uh, if you know somebody's in here, they will like to sit right there in front of the stairs around that corner. Uh, it's like the most common place to sit, or maybe behind the stairs, like back against the wall so they can sprint back real quick. Um, so when I open this door normally, uh, you know, I like to peek in. You want to look at that spot really quick. Then I come in, I hold this angle. You can kind of see the stairs a little bit, see if someone would run around the hallway if it seems clear. You continue. I always go, I check that little corner here to the top of the stairs, to the back of the stairs. And now don't get complacent here. Because I've had this happen to me, where there's a player at this railing, and they wait for you to go by. So I just like to always click or clear. Okay, we're held here. We're safe. And then we'll go take a little peek there. Little peek. Little peek again. Boom, boom, clear, close. People can throw nades in there. If you're sat right here, they throw nades through the window. You're pretty much toast right up here. So clear that room quick. And we're on to the upstairs. Downstairs is clear. Door one more time, just in case someone snuck in magically. Not hearing anything. We're gonna go. When I come up the stairs, I do a little door peek, and then I do a little, you know, uh, back corridor peek as well. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, good. SG5, or USG, don't need that. Uh, some pants we don't need. Close that door. And I like to sit here and we listen again. But don't underestimate where people can sit. I've, I've seen people sit everywhere in this building. So I clear every little tiny corner, every little nook and cranny that I can. Uh, you know, and the times that I don't is the time, are the times that it's always bitten me in the ass. So especially this spot right here. People love to sit right here and hold for people come up the stairs. It's a great spot. It's tough to uh, to hit. And that's why I peek up a little bit where I don't think my head really comes up through. Uh, I peek at the door in case someone's in the doorway. And then I come peek at this, you know, just trying to clear every, every little bit inch by inch. So that's camo clear. Didn't really find anything useful. So we continue to loot. I'm also going to peek out here, see, you know, is that zombie still hanging around? Which way am I going to need to go? Seems okay. Here, a zombie off to my right. Sounds maybe behind the building, though. Okay, next, next uh, course of action, maybe we come out the front door, go past that crate right side, and we're going to go to that L shape. I like to have a, a bit of a plan. Know which buildings I like to hit. Um... Also, you know, keep in mind that when you come into a military base, like I said, high risk, right? High risk, potential high reward. If you come in and you loot the first building and you get everything that you came here looking uh, looking to get, especially with a kit like I got a Mosin and an M4, I don't, there's no guns I'm going to find at VMC that are going to be better. 
in my opinion. So if I come here, I get two, three boxes of ammo in, the, in this camo building, I get out of here, man. That's way more than I uh, p potentially thought I was going to get. Um, so there's my reward. Let's not risk anymore. Let's get out. That's my advice to you. You don't have to follow that. You can loot every single building everywhere you want if you'd like to. I don't tend to do that. When I find the things that I'm looking for, I tend to move on. Uh, especially with towns and cities. Like, if I find a couple pieces of food, I got a jacket I like, uh, I got a starter weapon, whatever, I get out of there. I don't like to stick into areas too uh, longer than I need to be. The same goes to militaries, and honestly, in my opinion, I apply that heavier to militaries. I get in and get out as much as I can. Oh, got a heli crash. That's actually interesting. But uh, for the sake of the video, let's continue. Let's continue. I really want that DMR. I haven't haven't been able to shoot it yet. All right, so we're gonna follow our plan. A little clear, just in case someone knew we went inside and is waiting for us. We good. We good. Stay low. We're relatively slow. I should have cleared that crate. I didn't. That zombie kind of caught my eye. Okay, using the wall, using the bushes. I feel like that was open before. I could be wrong. When I scouted originally, I thought I saw that door open. If you make, you know, make little notes of things that you see what well, before you approach, and then you get here and things are a little bit different, use that as a sign of caution. Because you don't want to get caught with your pants down. Like if I just... Printed up in there, so I'm hearing lots of stuff. All right, uh, lesson number two clearing L shape. Always peek that first hallway, it's a big common place people like to sit. Once this little cubby room is cleared, close the door behind you, don't, make, don't risk anything. People love to sit right here, same like just like the camera building, they like to sit right at that corner so they can retreat back after initial, an initial wave of shots. People also like to sit in that corner back there because the door covers and people forget to clear it sometimes and they get boned. So we have this cleared, doors closed behind us. Now we're gonna peek the corner because we can see these doors are open, doesn't appear like anybody's in there. I'm gonna peek now. Okay, we're good there. Now I go room by room. We're good. People like to sit on those beds sometimes. Always check them. Don't get don't get clearing fatigue. If you've watched my ATC push video, don't get clearing fatigue. Boom, boom, boom. People do sit in those showers, and they can be hard to see sometimes. Always clear. So we're good here. We're good. Looks like the only thing that's in here is a backpack. Again, I suspect this place is probably looted. And oh yeah, we got a carnival mask there. Now you tell me, does a carnival mask, does it make sense for a car carnival mask to spawn in the military? No, it doesn't spawn here. Somebody dropped that. Some lunatic was actually wearing that. <laughs> I don't know who wears carnival masks in this game. The mind mask, all right, I see it, I see it. But uh, carnival mask, man, come on. Weird stuff. So if this is me, at this point, if this is me, I have looted two buildings and found essentially nothing. What this tells me is that this space is looted. I should probably get out of here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how I clear the final two types of buildings. Uh, aside from the patrol shack. The patrol shack, you know, you can find a helmet in there, but I don't tend to loot it. Unless I'm with a group. Um, I'm going to show you how to loot the, the double green uh, barracks. Double green door barracks, and what I call the skinny barracks. Um, at this point, I'm gonna leave. I would leave because I haven't found anything. We heard shots. It doesn't seem worthwhile. It seems like there's no loot here because someone already looted it, and I got here uh, in too close of a proximity for things to really respawn, other than the zombies, of course, right? Um, so I will. 
for the sake of the video, continue to loot and clear these buildings, just to show you how I clear them and how I would handle them, and then I'll go through my escape pl uh, plan. And if an opportunity presents itself, I will also show you uh, how to deal with the zombies if you get zombies here. Because if you get one on here, it is tough to not aggro the rest, because they, as you saw, they spawn in two big clumps right here in the center of the base, like out straight out this door, and then over there by the, uh, the other L shape and the skinny barrack where I initially came in. Um, they can be tough, and once you get some, you pretty much have all, and my advice to you is, oh. I think that's, I think that's just ambience, but that sounded like a player moving through a bush. Um, but yeah, essentially what I'll tell you to do and advise you to do is just trap them. There's going to be too many to fight. You don't want to go loud and attract even more attention to the area. Uh, just trap them, you know, or, or lay inside of a building, go prone and wait for them to, to go away essentially. Because eventually if you go prone, you're not sat in a window where they can have line of sight on you or you're not sticking out the walls, you know, because the game can be glitchy. Um, you know, they'll eventually go away. So use that to your advantage. So my next plan of action is, this is going to be tough, because there's zombies right here. I think I'm going to shoot for the double green door barracks. I'm sat here listening. I did hear some foliage move, but I think it's just the wind. I'm going to, you know, use caution, and I'm going to clear that side first. If that looks clear, clear left, and we're going to slow walk, hug the wall, go over to the double green door barracks. Let's do it. So, boom, 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 boom. Looks okay. Good, zombies are over there. Alright, we're good. Low and slow. There is one zombie there that's kind of annoying. Again, zombie notices me, doesn't aggro full. Uh, there's not really a lot of places to hide here. If you've ever been in one of these barracks, not a lot of places to hide. Most common place for people to hide when in this building is right where I'm sat. Right here in the corner. Either this one, the one that I'm in, or the one across from me. Because you don't, it's really hard to get a good line of sight without full peeking. Um... So lots of players you'll find will sit in these corners if they're sat in here. So I always just clear those, you know, you obviously, you open the doors, maybe do a little strafing, check the backs, and then you do, uh, it's like a 50-50 chance. If there's someone inside, you have to guess left or right. Uh, that's why I do like little subtle peeks in and out, trying to uh, give, myself a, give myself an opportunity to escape if, if need be. But again, not much to work with here. A pair of binoculars. I think binoculars can spawn here. So that's not too worrisome. Thought I saw like a SG5 buttstock or maybe the gun itself. We do have, what is this? Cobra sight? Yeah, Cobra sight. We have an M4. Doesn't help me. I actually prefer no sights on my assault rifles. I'm a hip fire boy. Or actually, I really do like the the flat iron sights on here. You know, no carry handle, nothing. I like the M4 as is. You know, I'm carrying the ATOG. Could could smack that on there. It's not bad. I do kind of like that, but I was kind of saving that for a lot of DMR because I got tons of ammo. And I'd love to go uh, one rifle. But I don't have enough ammo for the M4 to justify just M4, so... All right, next course of action. There's two skinny barracks here, but lots of zombies, unfortunately. I think what we'll do is I'm going to go out right and go back to that first original skinny barrack that I was sat right next to and, uh, and see if that's a little bit clearer. That was a little less zombie heavy. These front two are pretty, uh, pretty infested with Zeds, you know. In a case where you're really desperate for something and you're here, you know, 
Maybe you take the zombies. This is actually the best place to lock them in because it's so big and open. You can actually aggro a bunch of them, go jump on a bed, wait for them to congregate on one side, and then you just jump off, run out, close the doors behind you. And you have all the zombies in the base here. Um, I learned that from Doc, Dr. Dreis, also another really good Daisy PvP here. Super experienced, and uh, it's. I usually just like to run in, sit at the end of the building, and weave through them, but that's a much more efficient way of doing it. Jump on top of the beds, one in the back. It's risky, but uh, it's better than fighting all the zombies or going loud, so. That's my advice, if you do end up with a zombie infestation. And if we get some aggro here, I'll demonstrate that for you. But hopefully we don't, because we want this to be as clean of a run as possible. Haven't looted a single item, but we're, you're at least getting the point. Um, you know, you're learning how to scout the area, you're learning how to clear the buildings and go about looting them. These lockers can have loot, as we've seen, so if you're ever in this building, make sure to check the lockers. Check on the beds uh, and all the barracks. Luke can spawn on there as well, as well as on the floor. So we've sat here, we've listened a little bit. I mean, I've done a lot of talking, but I am listening. <laughs> um, I'm going to open, clear my left. Oh. I feel like I just heard someone switch a weapon. I could be wrong, though. I've been hearing a lot of stuff lately. In the game, in the game, in the game. <laughs> I feel like they changed some... Some audio. The, the devs seem to like to mess with the players. With audio and visual stuff. So when I think I hear something, I might be par being paranoid. But I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna listen. It's better to be patient and listen for another sound to confirm than just run out there and be like, oh, it was probably nothing, you know? Be smart about it. Okay. Not much. And remember, there's lots of zombies around too, so if someone was being sloppy, the zombies would probably catch them and give them away, and that would be, uh, you know, in my favor. So I'm going to do, stick to the plan, you know, poke out, check my left, my left flank, uh, check my right, we're going to go fall out right, going to go uh, past the camel building again. And go to that original skinny barrack and I will show you my the way that I'm going to leave. Let's do it. Okay. Low and slow. Another L shape here to loot if we Felt the need. Maybe hug the wall a bit. Lots of trees here. Coverage. Tough. Lots of Zeds. If we play it slow and we get a little bit lucky, We could sneak in. Yeah, backs are turned. I say we go for it. Close the door so they don't follow. People do like to sit in this bathroom. Jeans on the floor, so those are dropped. Once again, I do think this is uh, looted, this base. I think we just missed our opportunity to loot. Always, I know I did a bit of a rush, you know, jump in here quick with the zombies' backs turned. But, uh, you know, always check these fronts. These are little narrow doorways that people love to set trip wires and landmines on. Okay, I'm just going to slowly clear before we actually loot anything. Again, low and slow. This is proof so far, so good, um, that playing the slow, methodical 
stop go stop go uh, style of pacing and play is really beneficial like I haven't alerted I've avoided aggro detection twice now and it's been very beneficial I've been able to loot this base relatively stress-free I say relatively stress-free because this is very stressful <laughs> for anybody <sighs> so when you're feeling stressed like that just a deep breath like we're good so far and just chill again let the zombies uh, do the work for me if somebody is about and I also kind of want to wait for them to to move away a little bit because right now they, they were facing away when I when I was able to sneak in but uh, now they are a little bit closer maybe facing my direction so we sit and we wait we listen it is getting dark so we want to get out of here soon this to our advantage too. Seems like there's a zombie to my right. There's one right there. And one to my left. So I think the best course of action is actually to just another heli. Wow. We're gonna go here. We're gonna jump over that wall. I think I have enough stamina. Creep out. Oh, that was tight. Okay. The game is being being the game. Are right, we able to escape that without detection? It does look like they're kind of clearing from that spot. So if I can sneak through. I can actually go out that wall. Silence pistol would be super useful right now. Just to clear that one zombie. I think I can go with my original plan though. I'm gonna go for these bushes and jump over. Yep. And I don't have enough to, oh no. It was almost a clean run. So here we're gonna just into the crate. Ah, if I had the stamina, man. I didn't have the stamina to jump over the fence and that screwed me, <laughs> but we're good. If you're in that corner, you know, Close one side of the crate. Let the zombie come in, power punch it, sprint out while it's stun locked. Close behind you, you're good. No panic. Okay, hop from bush to bush. Oh man. Right, at this point, we're at the end here. Let's just get the fuck out of here. All right, I like to use this stream as cover if it lets me walk up the rocks. I'll kind of escape the zombies being a bit dumb. Grab that mushroom. Because we need some food. And you're out of EMC. Now this stream, like I said, will take you straight to, VM, uh, to Vibor City. Uh, Vibor is pretty high profile as well because of its location between you know, its own military compound in Northwest Airfield. People go there for pit stops for, there's a water well, there's a medical police station, a gas station. Lots of good stuff there.
So just be wary. Be aware of the fact that people do go that way. Um, but yeah, that was a relatively clean VMC run. We didn't find really anything because we got here late. Yeah, you at least got to witness how to clear the buildings, how to approach the base to begin with, you know, uh, and clear it without getting detected for the most part. You know, I got a little unlucky at the end. Um, miscalculated my my stamina bar. <laughs> I thought I had just enough, but I didn't. And, uh, you know, I think, I think there's a lot of valuable information in that, and there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of good that can come from playing low and slow, like I said. Especially as a solo in these situations. If you play in a big team, you maybe can afford to be a little bit more loud and, and whatnot. But, you know, even if you're in a team, if you guys adopt a, a low and slow type of uh, met, you know, methodical pace, it can be really good and really beneficial. You can get a jump on people before they even know you're there. So, that's my opinion. That's the way I handle this stuff. And, uh... Look at me. I looted pretty much the whole base. I cleared at least one of every building type. Um, only aggroed two zombies. Escaped with my life, knock on wood, and we're quite literally riding off into the sunset. So, GG's everybody. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, leave the video a like. Maybe a comment uh, which base you want me to, to do next. And, uh, you know, continue the awesome, awesome support. We just hit 27,000 subscribers. Absolutely insane. Never thought I would get this far with this uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, especially playing pretty much Daisy only. But nonetheless, I appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you want to see more Daisy content guides. I stream Monday through Friday. Uh, I am a full-time content creator, so all of that really helps me out, and I'd be very appreciative uh, for your consideration. So that's about it. That'll wrap it up here for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm going to probably aim for Northwest Airfield as long as we don't die here. I'm going to wait out the night so I don't get any why you film in nighttime complaints. And, uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully we can wait out the night and not die. Either way, expect a, a Northwest Airfield run in the near future. But for now, take care everybody, and bye-bye.